So I want to tell you about my roommate from college, Michelle. Uh, she had had a major conversion in high school from partying and modeling and pro soccer. And the Lord basically yeah, intervened in her life and drew her to himself. And so she was kind of wild. She was actually, it reminded me of John the Baptist or something. She had this wild hair and really fun car. And I could not believe how we were spending time together on the weekends. So she would dress up like Cinderella for terminally ill children. Uh, we're talking gloves up to here, um, the whole shebang. We would go to downtown and feed the homeless at midnight. We would go to daily mass together and she would take care of the elderly. And one day she kind of crossed a line for me and was like, hey, on Saturdays, I pray outside of an abortion clinic. Would you like to come? And I was like, what are you thinking? Are you insane? I was like, we might get arrested or something. I mean, all I could think of was, you know, signs and yelling and like German shepherds and me in cuffs, like on the ground for some reason. And she was like, it's the rosary. I was like, oh, the rosary. Well, I can pray the rosary. So I will never forget that uh, early Saturday morning, as long as I live, we pulled up and began praying outside of this dilapidated building. Um, and as the sun rose over it, it revealed a whole line of women. And they were the girls in my classes. And that day, abortion became more than a political issue or a legal term or a sin or a medical procedure. Uh, abortion had a face and it was it was my own friends and sisters in Christ. And so I knew in that moment that I was gonna live and die for them. And that was the moment that changed me.